Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be restretching some very wrinkled carpet in El Dorado Hills, California, so stay tuned. The worst area in this home is this master bedroom that has wrinkles throughout the whole room. So the first thing I'll do is make my cuts where I'll be making new seams if the carpet is connected to other areas. If there was no furniture, I would be able to stretch away from that point without making a new seam. Then I'll get all the furniture I'll be moving under furniture sliders so it will be easier to move around when I'll be stretching. Then I'll get my stretcher set up and start working. Now I have half the room stretched and you can see I have my stretcher set up under the bed. After stretching I was able to get a few inches off this carpet. You have to be very careful to stretch straight when you have cutouts and angled walls or else it will pull away left or right and you will have a gap to deal with. Here I'll show you how to stretch carpet without moving the bed and bed frame. I put my stretcher under the bed all the way to the wall then I'll do my stretch. After that, I'll use my lift buddy to pick up the bed leg so the carpet can get pulled under it. If you have two people, it makes this job even easier because one person can stretch while the other lifts the furniture. Here's the final result after stretching the carpet. You will still see where the wrinkle was because it was creased for so long just like folding a piece of paper and then flattening it, but after foot traffic and vacuuming, it will completely disappear. This is how much I was able to stretch, about two to three inches. And that is pretty much it. This job takes a bit longer because of the furniture, but with the right tools, it's not hard, just time consuming. So that's why there is an additional charge for stretching carpet with furniture involved. Here is where I had to remake the seam, and I'll make a video soon on how I actually do that seam when stretching because it's different than if I was installing new carpet. There were some areas downstairs that needed stretching, but they were very minor, so I didn't include them in the video, but here I'll show you how I restretch stairs. First thing I'll do is pull up the carpet only on the end where I'm stretching to, not the whole step. Then don't put too much pressure because the tail block can push through the drywall. You don't need that much force because this is only about 4 feet of carpet to be stretched. Most of the time there is a gap along the stair edge so you don't need to trim the carpet. Just pack it and hold the carpet down onto the tack strip before releasing. That's it, a set of stairs should only take about 10 to 15 minutes. Thanks for watching everyone.